get the wrinkles out of your shirt. So wrinkles, everybody hates wrinkles. So let me show you my method of ironing a shirt. Before we begin, let's take a look at all the equipments that you will be needing. First of all, you will need an iron. You will need an ironing board. You will also need a spray water bottle and perhaps an old piece. Let's begin. Let's take a look at your ironing board. The most important part is let's make sure we're using the right end. We are gonna be using the larger side of the ironing board. This will allow us to iron a larger surface of your shirt, thus saving us time. Second, your iron. Depending on the material of your shirt, in my case, which is a custom-made shirt from Silver Brazil from our Hampton collection, which is 100% cotton, I will have to set my iron to the cotton setting. If your garment is made out of a more delicate material, you might want to use an old piece of fabric and cover your garment on top and iron on it like that so it won't damage the material of your garments. So, let's begin. The first step, I like to begin with the back of a shirt. If you look here, I've lined up the back of my shirt against the edges of my ironing board. You're gonna spray some water on top of your shirt. So the shoulders, you can also use the larger side of your ironing board. You're gonna line this up. Make sure your shoulders are flat. And again, a little. And finally, you turn it back face down. So you're gonna fold your collar down and quickly on the inside. And you are done. And that is how you iron a shirt. So here's a bonus tip, a time saver tip. If you guys are gonna be wearing a jacket all day, here's what you can do. Just iron the front plackets and the sleeves and the collar. No one's ever gonna see the back of your shirt, so even if it's wrinkled, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna be covered during the entire day. 